Right, so based on the last experiment of a basic defrag improvement on this program, the results, let's say, were not impressive. It was pretty much the same both sides of the coin. So I'm going to try a different approach this time. I'm going to see if keeping the same files as I had before, but put them into a strict placement sort of by folder and file name in ascending order so basically every file is together see if that's any quicker because I'm hoping with that all the folders will be pretty much well they should be all together the computer should be able to read it straight off the disk in a line continuous file and pick them up quicker so we'll give this a go and see if this helps at all either so let's put that into not simulate we're going to put that into defrag mode Simulate on, simulate off. Make sure we got D. Yeah, settings. Double check. Yeah, strict placement. OK. Start. So we should let that defrag and we'll come back again later on to see the results. Welcome back, guys. Uh, the defrag has happened. As you can probably tell from the date at the bottom, it's a few days later than when I actually did the uh, defrag video. Uh, time constraints of not allowed me to do the video as soon as I wanted to but I'm going to do it now um, so we've defragged the hard drive in file ascending order so everything should be let's analyze this analyze and then it should give us the data we need to see make sure everything's in the correct place so hopefully this is going to make for some quicker loading times um, the previous defrag both before the high performance fast play and after the load times were about seven minutes so we're going to load up exactly the same situation and see if it makes any difference on time at all. I'm hoping it will because it would be nice to see that this actually does work. So as we can see here we're clicking on the outer rings where the high performance is and everything seems to be in strict order. So based on that theory if Flight Simulator wants to pull up an Orbs Orbex file it just, it just goes dun 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 straight through there pick it all up chuck it into flight sim, job done. So that's the theory. Again say so defrag this defrag took about four hours, which is about an hour more than the fast placement high performance defrag. We're gonna load up flight simulator and see if that makes any difference at all. Fingers crossed. So again we've loaded up Flight Simulator X in the iFlyer seven three seven. Again UK two thousand extreme Gatwick daytime no external weather, just the fair weather of FSX no AI and hopefully this would be better so let's have a look alright so there we have it that did actually load slightly quicker I think that was clocking up about five five minutes as opposed to the seven to eight minutes I was getting on the other two defrags. So I'm quite happy with that. Whether it's worth spending the thirty dollars for it, I don't know, but it can be used for the whole computer as well. It's not just an FSX thing. Obviously you can defrag everything and if you've got a lot of games, a lot of kit on your computer it can be quite handy, but that the theory obviously works, which I'm happy to share with you. So, let's just have a look here. No stutters or anything. No, Gatwick. Again, it's the Orbex scenery. Payware aircraft. Nice smooth frame, rate, frame rates. Again, on DirectX, I've got this on. I've only just recently turned to DirectX, actually. I'm going to put a video up about the difference I had between DirectX and Direct9. Direct because for me, it's quite a vast improvement on the older hardware. But that shows oh, world that shows that um, the defrag does work. It cut about two minutes, two to three minutes off my loading time, which for me is quite is quite good. I'm impressed with that. <coughs> so um, I'll leave you with that thought, guys. Um, comments below in the box. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back soon with another one. Thanks for watching.